It's coffee time. And oh my goodness, do I have some things to say about the Persona 4 anime. But first, can we discuss the fact that there is some sort of karma coming back at me? Like, look, I thought that the unnamed Zit and I had an understanding. I thought that she was packing up to leave, that she had a great time, but knew that she had overstayed her welcome and was getting ready to peace out. But it turns out she was just packing bags for her sister who moved in right next door. <laughs> I woke up this morning, just looked at myself, and shook my fist so hard at my reflection, like, why? Why? I know why. I absolutely know why. It's because I've been touching the other one so much that all of the gross stuff that's constantly on my hand was just like, oh, hello, and just fashioned itself a new body. Oh, but I was so sad. I was like, oh, man, I think that it's almost gone. I think if I just leave it alone for a couple more days, it's it's gonna like legit peace out. <sighs> now there's a new one. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm trying so hard to just not touch it. Just not touch it at all. Just leave it alone, let it live its life. And I'm sure that I could go online and be like, how do I get rid of zits? And there would be all sorts of like, put toothpaste on it sort of things that supposedly work immediately. I don't trust those, but I'd be willing to try them if it meant that more and more sisters of unnamed Zit weren't going to move in ever, ever in their lives. <laughs> but okay, so yesterday I didn't put up a coffee time because we had a anime pajama birthday bash for Aaron. And the last time that we did this, to catch you up, the last time that we did this we watched Kuroko no Basuke. And we watched the entire thing because it was 23 episodes, I believe. So this time, everybody kind of threw in their ideas for anime to watch. And I was like, man, everybody keeps saying that I should watch the Persona 4 anime. And that's all on Hulu. And it's 25 episodes. Like, it's doable. So I threw that into the ring. And a lot of people were interested in watching it because, you know, we were from a video gaming company. So uh, we all got together yesterday. And I did not get home until I think two in the morning. And my goodness, I could not keep my eyes open. I couldn't even keep my eyes open for the last couple of episodes of that anime. It was so, oh. Uh, I'm gonna try not to like spoil anything for those of you who haven't played the game and don't know the story. But like, so a big part of that game is that you, you are fighting in it, but you also have to maintain all of these social links, like all of these bonds with different people and make them stronger so that your persona that you fight with are also stronger. So like it tries to balance out almost this, um, this slice of life simulator along with a fighting game and just kind of shoves them together. And it's very, very fun. It's so fun, but the nightmare it must have been trying to figure out how to turn that into an anime, I do not know. Because <clears throat> they, in my opinion, they did not do it very well. The pacing was awful. The social areas, most of the people that were there watching this anime had never played the game. Which I would like to point out, you should not have to have watched, no, you should not have to have played the game or read the book, if it's something that's derived from a book, in order to enjoy and experience the final product of it on screen, right? It's the same with if somebody had read the Harry Potter books and somebody else had not read the Harry Potter books, both should be able to enjoy the movie, right? That is exactly how I feel about this anime. So we went in there, most people had never played the game, didn't know anything about it, and Every time they had one of those episodes that was like, let's go to the beach. Oh, we're having a school fair. Literally everyone was like, filler again? Because that's how it comes across. You don't have anything that's coming back to you. Like in the game, you get rewards for it. You immediately see the way that it affects your game and how it affects your fighting. Like there was nothing like that. So when we were all watching the anime, it legit felt like it just dragged forever because you didn't feel a point 
to any of those episodes. And that's what like half of them were. It could have been, it, it seriously could have been a 12 episode anime. And I think it should have been. Um, but they wanted so badly to put in all of those things. And it's like, it's a huge game. That game takes forever to play. So like, oh my goodness. Just watching them try to shove all of that <laughs> into an anime. And in my opinion, not choosing the right way to do it. It was so sad. And it was hilarious because there were some points, like near the beginning of the show, they tried different ways to cut the episodes together. Like they kind of switched up their style a few times and we were like, what is happening? It was so weird. Um, and by the end of it, we were like, oh my God, we did it. Like all of us 100% thought that it was mediocre, which is sad because I love the game so much. And that was the other thing is that um, a couple of people, including Aaron, were like, you know, it it sucks like knowing and hearing from you guys how cool the game is because this anime does not, and it doesn't feel like it does it justice. And the response that a lot of you gave me when I was yelling about it on Twitter was, well, Dunger, it's the same with the Danganronpa anime. Like, they're taking out a lot. And, you know, it makes it hard. No, because in Persona 4, they're trying to balance, like, happy, fun school times and friendship and love with, oh my gosh, there's murders going on everywhere and we have to fight all of these things in a shadow world that's through the TV. Like, they're things that don't immediately mesh together, whereas in Danganronpa, it's... A combination of like the the social aspect of Danganronpa is within the context of we are legit trapped in this school and we cannot get out. We are all victims, right? It's within the same genre and world of a murder storyline. Whereas with Persona, that's not true. So like they tried to, they're trying to like combine these genres where pretty much everybody that was in the room was like, we want to know more about these murders. Like, why aren't you guys focusing more on all of this stuff that's going on? And it just felt like it didn't, it didn't feel cohesive. Whereas with Danganronpa, even though I know, and I haven't played the game, but even though I know from you guys telling me, and also just from being somebody who's played a lot of video games, obviously they're taking a lot of stuff out. And obviously like all of the scenes that happen in the courtroom, I'm sure go on for far longer and there's far more details, but you can't fault something for what it cut out if it was necessary. Right. And the way they did it in Danganronpa, I think makes a lot of sense and it doesn't feel rushed and it doesn't feel pieced together awkwardly. At least for me, Persona 4 did. It felt so awkwardly pieced together, like, well, we have to fit in these things because otherwise, you know, it's not like none of this would have happened if not for the fact that he met this one person. And it's like, yes, I, I understand that, but you need to figure out how to, uh. So we made it through. <laughs> there was a point there where we were like, all right, if this winds up being another let's all hang out at the mall episode, we're going to skip it. <laughs> we're going to straight up skip it. Um, but we didn't. We made it through all the episodes. Uh, there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of us at the end, I think. So there were more. There were more throughout the day, but there were seven of us at the end that made it through the entire thing. So go us. And uh, it was really fun, obviously, like regardless of whether or not we, you know, really, really enjoyed the anime. It was very fun to watch. And now we all have so many weird end jokes. <laughs> that have to do specifically with Persona that I don't regret it at all. But, uh, yeah. Gosh, that was, man. And then on the way home, I was wide awake, and the second I got into my apartment, I was, I pass out. Like, I needed to tweet about coffee, and then, like, I could not, could not keep my eyes open. It was awful. It took me so long to type out that tweet. Oh, my goodness. And also, obviously, because it, wound up being a much longer day than I expected. Um, that, that news video just never happened, which I feel bad about, but, um, yeah. Oh my gosh. But happy birthday, Aaron, on Monday. <laughs> Not today, but, uh, on the 16th, the 16th is Aaron's birthday. So you guys should totally, um, tweet her and tell her that she is beautiful and happy birthday because I love, I love the poop out of that girl. I love her so much. She is fantastic. Um, also, speaking of little girls, hey, come here. Hey, come here. <laughs> uh, 
Watson is worse than Sherlock when it comes to food. And I was so, I was so excited about the possibility of having a cat that wouldn't want to eat all of my food, right? No, no, no. Watson wants to eat everything. And like, she's so persistent. I can, with Sherlock, he like comes to, to, you know, inspect my food and I just kind of, I just throw him off of whatever surface he's on to get to my food. And then he kind of gives up and lays down. No, Watson hasn't reached the age where she's embarrassed about things yet. So she just like, she's all up in your grill until she feels like she's won. And if you try to like hold her in place while you're doing something, she's just like, me, me, me. <laughs> Come on, you're like the perfect cat. Why do you have to want all my food? Huh? Why do you have to want all my food? You're the worst. You're definitely getting bigger though. I'm so proud of you. So proud of you. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. Um, well, let's see what's happening today. Um, another birthday thing actually is happening today. Oh gosh, this weekend. So many, so many birthdays, so many birthdays. But the cool thing is that, um, we are actually going to a Dodgers game and it's, it's silly that considering my, my name online and considering the name of the LA baseball team that I have never been to a Dodgers game. That is very silly. So when I was called up by my friend from who uh, works at Polaris, he was like, Hey, so for this birthday, we're going to go to a Dodgers game. I was like, Oh, I've never been to a Dodgers game. And he was like, what? <laughs> so, um, I'm going to wind up doing that and that should be fun. Um, I have no idea what sort of seats we have. Or anything like that. But that's okay. That's okay. It should be good anyway. Um, I haven't watched. My mom really loves baseball. And my, uh, my Nona really loved baseball. But I never met my Nona. So I really just know about that through my mom. Like my mom just loves to watch baseball. Because it reminds her of like being a kid I think. But I think that she like legitimately loves baseball too. But I've never really been into baseball. I really like playing baseball. But I don't. I don't watch it ever. So it's going to be interesting to watch a baseball game and be like, oh, oh, especially if the seats are the sort of seats where you can't actually see much. That's going to be funny. <laughs> I'll be like, what's happening? Huh? But that's okay. Um, yeah, man. Lots of, God, lots of people aging. That, the same thing happened around my birthday. When my birthday happened, all of these all of these August babies came out of the woodwork and were like, oh, I was born early August as well. I was like, no way. And then we all, you know, did Leo chest bumps. It was good. It's good times. <laughs> but uh Yeah, I guess I guess that's always the case. Like you don't you don't realize that there are a lot of birthdays happening at once unless you are paying attention, I guess. But Hey what? You meowing? What are you doing? Yeah, there you are. There's that face. Come say hi to everybody. They love to see you. And Sherlock's antisocial and he just wants to lay over there. Hello. Oh, you're so cute. You're the cutest girl, huh? You're the cutest girl. Alright, let me put you down. Let go, silly. There you go. Um, yeah. Anywho, I guess I'm gonna go and, uh, make myself look presentable. This probably isn't the right thing to wear to a baseball game outside when it's really, really hot. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna just change clothes and have some cereal and then have a good day. So, yeah. Hope that you guys had a great day as well and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye! Mwah!